What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World and right now we're going to be talking about how you can reach Mutt level 60 super fast in a hurry and uh, most of you guys are already at level 60. Uh, many of you guys have been you know waiting for the next level and you're trying to figure out ways to plan for the next season. Uh, for those of you guys that are just like yo look I'm getting into Mutt right now I really need to understand exactly what's going on within the game. There are a lot of things that maybe you do not understand whether you're a veteran of the game or you know you're just completely completely new. So we're going to go ahead and break that down for you guys because later today we'll be heat, uh, hitting mutt level 60 and just so you guys understand it's specific parts of every season that you need to actually get like for instance this trunk this triumph elite pack it's gonna suck and i know that it's gonna be a terrible pack but throughout the actual uh, mutt level there are things like this like the legendary strategy item and uh you know the upgrades to the free players and things like that uh this is one of the more important things because you're leading up into uh season five and the game is going to become a lot more OP right now. It's going to be a lot more OP. So the cards are going to be higher overall rated. Um, there's going to be uh, massive X factors all over the field. And you may have the opportunity of grinding the field pass and getting a player that may have those special abilities. So let's go ahead and jump into it, right? The number one thing that you guys are going to really want to understand with this is that it's a time frame and a time sensitive issue which means that EA Sports drops live content, and if you miss certain things that I'm showing you, there is no way to retrieve it. I'm still getting hundreds of messages a day about um, the, uh, which one was it? It was the playoffs, right? If you're one of those guys, let me know. A lot of you guys found my videos off of the playoffs, and you're like, yo, gee, I wasn't able to finish this. I couldn't get the free 94 overall B and D player. I'm raging. I understand all of that, right? But the primary focus is the XP. Okay, so every single promo that drops, you're looking to see whether XP is offered or not. That's all you're doing. With certain promos, you may get free cards like this and it's like an extra bonus, but you're just looking at the objectives to kind of figure out what's going on. So what happens is, in certain uh, objectives, they're no longer there. You see what I'm saying? Like house rules, there were no more house rules by the time a lot of you guys got the game, so you weren't able to get additional XP to get the free player. Yet still, EA does give you enough XP, um, well, enough of the actual promo XP to get the Mutt level XP, because it's all different. Like this is playoff XP, but you get your actual Mutt level XP from grinding the field pass. Okay, so that's ultimately what it is. And we have to focus in on what makes a lot of sense because one of the things that I try to tell everybody here, yeah, you know, you gotta play the game, you know, a decent amount, but you don't have to focus in on what we were doing in Madden 20, like kicking a thousand field goals. Unless it's like a 20 field goal thing where if you do the 20 field goals, you get uh, XP, it's like specific. Nothing else counts individually. It has to be part of the objective. So now, let's go into this really quickly. Obviously, the primary focus is always going to be your daily tracker. There was a time when Mutt, uh, you know, like the, um, what was it? The Mutt Master was very, very, um, you know, relevant to the daily tracker, but that was all, you know, that was all we needed it for. Now, EA has made it a point that they want you to log in every day and do daily objectives. It used to just be log in. Then it turned into doing all of this, right? Like doing, you know, 20 complete passes, 60 points. Most of the time, it's relatively easy, but I remember, you know, back in the day, you just had to log in. That was it. And then, you know, you were done. But they want more of your time. So if you're going to give them more of your time, you have to focus in on specifically what is needed. And what is needed is specifically following this. Like what I just told you about the 20 field goals. You have to know that if you have to kick 20 field goals, you're not worried about doing that in a live game because it doesn't say head to head or solo battles. You jump into any challenge and you get those 20 field goals done. You got to know that that doesn't say head to head or solo battles. So you can go into any challenge or, you know, even if you go on a solo battle on easy and get everything done together, it wouldn't really matter. But I want you guys to focus in on the fact that a lot of these things do not require you to play head to head or solo battles, which is why a lot of you guys are higher than my mutt level after watching my videos because these are the focuses that I want you to understand. The three playoff players, these specific things is all you need to know. So as you go through these weekly objectives that EA Sports added because they realized that mathematically they were like not giving us enough XP to complete the passes, this is additional to make sure that everybody is able to do it. So people need to understand exactly what's going on. Okay, so with the way that this works out, right, you want to focus in on this primarily because now that they've upped it, you get 60,000 a week additional XP. And this is what really drove us over the top. Okay, the 60,000 XP as opposed to what they were giving us, 48, you may say to yourself, okay, gee, but you know, 
you know, the 48 was all right, you know, no, 60,000, big difference, boys, big difference, okay? So now going forward, they may just do that to make it a little bit easier, but I got news for you. They may, in Madden 2025, completely revamp the system and make it so that it's a lot less because it looks like as the actual seasons go on, they want to give us a lot less and make us play the game a lot more unless you focus in on the other promos because this alone is not the key, all right? But you have to know what you're doing inside of the other uh, specific objectives. Now, when you go through all of these things, right, I want to kind of point out to you guys like the Black History Month thing, you'll notice I didn't do any of this, right? This was useless to us because it doesn't give us any rewards for XP. So the only people that would do this are people that are like no money spent, that are drastically like, bro, I need players. But even with that, most of these players were trash anyway. So it didn't make any sense for me to do it. So this would be a waste of my time. And the reason that I point this out is some of the promos are not as good as other ones. So don't waste your time doing things that are not going to give you XP. This and the free player, everything about this was like horrible. EA Sports has done a much better job in the past with the Black History Month promo. This year was totally garbage, okay? So you have to know, all right, bro, let me check G's video out. Is he doing this? No, I'm not doing it, right? Ultimate Legends. This one was completed, but look, this is the thing. I'm waiting to open this pack, right? I didn't get any XP, but I completed it because as long as you don't open the pack, obviously, as the Ultimate Legends get better, you'll have a better opportunity to get something that's better. So I'll show you this right quick. I did it the first weekend that it was released, but look at where my pack is. My pack is still here. So as you're grinding the game, you gotta know what's going on. You can't just be opening packs and just do... All the Ultimate Legends that they released, including the Limiteds, were pure, un unfiltered trash. So as you go through it, you are gonna have the opportunity to make coins, but our focus is the mutt level. But if something is not suitable, like the cards are trash, like that Terrell Suggs, all those cards were garbage, we're not gonna open that pack. We're just gonna hold off and wait on it. So these are the things that you guys need to really, really focus in on. Now the playoffs and the Super Bowl, obviously these two are a little bit outdated now, so it's gonna be done in like seven days, including the Genki Force, right? This is something that I want you to focus on right now, because obviously, not only are you going to get all the other tokens and you're going to get another elevation high pass that's going to save you if you want it's going to save you a lot of coins it's going to save you like 500k getting that one pass because you won't have to put an actual champion into the upgrade path of the higher 96s or 97s but during this path you're going to get more stars okay and you're going to get more xp so obviously you're going to be waiting for the second drop and you're going to see what else is going on now you'll see here where it tells you genki four store uh, you know, you got to spend a certain amount of stars. That's all good and well. Okay, this is fine, but I'm waiting until the next segment to get a more, uh, you know, a, a more expensive 96 because the prices have dropped with the other ones. And you can see that I have over the 1800 that are needed inside the store with the stars on the top right to get one. So I'm waiting to do this part to get the stars. But you guys have to focus in on these objectives if you want to be able to upgrade your mutt level throughout the time process of the live content. Um, look to see what they want you guys to do. Look at the specific player and just focus in on it. If it does not say head to head or solo battle, guess what? You're doing it in, in challenges and just repeating the challenges and it's fine. And remember, it doesn't matter if you fail a challenge, you just repeat it. It still counts with the whatever the progress is. So don't worry about all that. This is another situation where once the house rules go down, if you watch this video later, you won't be able to get this XP. That's what I mean about live content. So make better use of your time when you're going through it, but only focus in on the actual promos that give you XP. Competitive, we're already maxed out with it, so that's another one that gives you massive XP as well, but we're done with it. So that's why everything right now is pretty much finished. And like I said, I've gone over it several times about your mutt level. Obviously, mutt champs is the most important one. Then I would consider solo battles the next one that's more important. And then everything else that goes on, you know, you, you do at your own leisure. The milestones and stuff like that, I maxed it out without doing the final milestone. Some of you guys told me you were able to do 100 solo battles. God bless your heart. It's no way I'm doing that. But there are a lot of different ways to get the XP inside the competitive pass. But I would say mutt champs, solo battles, and then head to head. All right, and as you go through it, obviously it'll be there for you guys to focus in on. So for the next season, when we're increasing our mutt level, many of you guys are gonna obviously be a lot higher than I am because you'll do it at your own time pace and you'll understand what actually matters. And that's what I want. 
I want you guys to understand it so that there's no reason to worry about anything and you handle your business with your mutt level and then we talk about it when we're live on stream. I wanna thank you guys and girls for watching. Go ahead and get that mutt level done. And before I end, what's your mutt level right now when you're watching this video? I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.